Hello everyone and welcome to Quote Machines tutorial on how to make invoices. There's different ways to create an invoice. For example, if you want to create an invoice from a one quote, then you will have to click the button create invoice here directly from the quote. However, if you want to start making an invoice uh, from scratch, then you would have to go to the invoices section in the menu and then click the blue new invoice button here. When I click on it, you see that I have to specify my customer, the payment term, and the due date, and then I will click create invoice. After selecting my customer and specifying the payment term and due date, the invoice interface opens. You see things such as the invoice number up here, and I have some custom fields here and here set up as well. Important to know is that all of these things are changeable. For example, here, uh, the customer's details. If you see something's wrong in the customer's billing or shipping details, then you can change it in Quote Machine on the spot. Then the pricing table is where we start building our actual invoice. When I click Add a product or service, all of the products that came from my Lightspeed Ecom catalog show up here. However, if for some reason you have to create an entirely new product, you can do so by clicking the quick create button. This will allow you to basically create a new product on the spot. For now, I will go ahead and uh, choose some existing products. Now that I've added uh, my products pair line item, there's different things that we can do. All of the info such as the name and the price is pulled from Lightspeed, but we can change it on the spot. For example, if I want to change the name of the product because it's a little bit long, then I can do so. Or if I want to change the price of this light box from 20 euros to, for example, 50 euros, I can do so as well. Important to know is that all the changes that you make here are only for this particular invoice. This means that the products won't be changed in your actual catalog. Now, it could be that you want to give some discount to your customer. There's two ways to give your customers those discounts. Um, you can either give a discount on a certain line item, so on a certain product. So let's say this suitcase, I want to give it a 20% discount. I would use the button on the line item. Um, you can also give a discount on the entire invoice, and that's when you use the global discount button down here. So in this case, I would give a 20% discount on the entire invoice. And then you see the discount showing up here and the total has changed as well. Then for people that send out invoices with a lot of different things on them, we have the group function. The group function will allow you to organize your invoice a little bit. As you see, I have a suitcase here. And for example, I have this light box here. So let's say I had a lot of those on my invoice, then I could add a group. Let's say I named this group suitcases and another group that I will name light box. Then I can drag those products in their respective groups. And now once I hit preview down here, this is what my customer would see on the actual invoice. So in this case, they see uh, suitcases and then they would see all the suitcases, um, light boxes, they would see all the light boxes as well as the subtotal per group. So then this way your customer has a better overview of the invoice and what you're charging them for. Then down here we have our uh, deposit, fees, discounts, and taxes that we can still change. For all of these, you can set a default value, but as with almost everything else, you can change this on an individual invoice as well. And lastly, we have the design. Um, as you might know, we have our document templates already set up here under sales tools, but it could be that you want to change something in the design for this particular customer. To do so, you would click edit design down here. And as you see now, I'm able to change most of the things in my invoice. I can, for example, change the entire template I'm using down here, or I can just tweak uh, this existing template by, for example, adding content, editing existing content, or to move things up or down in the invoice. Important to know is that anything you change here will be only changed for this invoice. It will not change anything in the actual template for future invoices. And then this, 
content is all that you can add onto an invoice. So it can be titles, text, images, videos, files, uh, account statements. Um, so you can make it as crazy or as simple um, as you want. And then once I am done editing, I'll click close edit mode. Sorry, I'll click back. Um, and then I start sending out my invoice to the customer. As far as finalizing the invoice, there's three options. We can either mark it as done, text it, or emailing it. Um, marking it as done will finalize the invoice but send nothing to your customer. When you text it, your customer will receive a text with a link to the invoice. And lastly, um, we can email it, which is um, what I will do in this case. As you can see here, I can change uh, the subject. I can add or uh, delete emails, uh, add email addresses, or I can add copies or blind copies. Um, same for the email. This is a template that I set up, but if I want to, I can write my own email. Um, so let's say I'm happy with what I wrote, so I can send it to my customer now. And now you see that the status of the invoice has changed to waiting for payment. Um, when you scroll down, you see the email here as well. Once I hit preview, you can see what, I, what my customer has actually received. To take the payment, I can either take it from my customer directly on the invoice when uh, they open it, or I can click receive payment down here from the back end and then register how I've received that payment. In this case, I will take the entire amount on the credit card and apply the payment. Then once I refresh my page, we will now see that the invoice was fully paid and that the invoice has been exported to Lightspeed Ecom as a completed order. Then once I click the Open Sale and Lightspeed Ecom button, you'll be redirected to Lightspeed where the order shows up with everything that was in Quote Machine as well with a ready for shipment status.